Okay, here's a short video about uh, recording uh, one track into another track. This can be useful if you want to manipulate some effects live and then uh, save that as a take rather than recording it using automation. So here's a simple drum loop and I'm going to make many copies of it. And I'm going to hop over to the mixer and choose some inserts. Uh, so an insert is another name for an effect, and some people also call these things plugins. Those are all the same thing. So these are all things that can process the sound in real time. Uh, I'm going to choose a simple delay, uh, maybe this one here. And this should have controls for feedback and for mix. And let's just hear what this thing sounds like. So you can see this is a stereo delay. Uh, it's taking this sound file and it's delaying the left and right sides. And I can manipulate how those are being uh, delayed. Common controls to most effects are include a mix control. There's usually a mix control. This is mixing between the dry and the wet, or the original and the affected. So I'm going to start with both of these at zero. And uh, it would be nice, I think, to record a performance of me just kind of improvising with those for a little bit. So I'm going to make a new track. I'm going to make a new stereo audio track down here. And I'm going to hop over to the mixer. And I'm going to create a send that goes to bus 1, 2. So these buses are just used for internally routing sound around in Pro Tools. And I get this little window that pops up. If I want to see this window at any point, I can just push that bus 1, 2 thing, and the window will pop up. And if I hold down Option and click the fader, it'll hop up to 0. And now on this new track that I've made, uh, I'm going to go ahead actually and flip to the edit window, and double click here, and name this, and call it Rec. So on this track named Rec, I'm going to say that the input, instead of being from my hardware interface, it's going to be bus 1 and 2. So now this track is set up to record on bus 1 and 2, and this track has a send that's going out bus 1 and 2. Very good. So I'm going to arm that for recording. I'm going to push the record button up here. And last but not least, I'm going to bring up my effect and I'm going to press play and this will start recording down here and then as I manipulate the effect that'll get written to this file here. And I just pushed stop, and it stopped recording. And down here, if I take this off of record arm now and solo this track, uh, I can hear that this is the re a recording of the performance that I just did up here with effects. You can do a similar kind of thing by recording effect automation, but this can be useful, especially if you're uh, doing things live, like say performing an instrument into a track. Uh, a MIDI instrument and you want to record with effects as a dedicated sound file afterwards or if you just like working that way like just working with effects uh, without having to worry about keeping track of which parameters you plan to automate or not you can just manipulate all the controls uh, intuitively and all of that info will get written down here <laughs>